What if the most important crypto wasn't created in the 2010s, but patented in 1988? That's when David Schwartz, better known as Joel Katz, filed US Patent 5025369A. It described a distributed computing system that looks almost identical to the XRP ledger we use today. That's not a theory. It's public record. And it came 23 years before Bitcoin. This wasn't blockchain yet. There was no mining. No tokenization. But the blueprint? It was already there. Years later, Schwartz gave a quote that changed everything. He said, the ledger was already running when we joined. Think about that. Not built. Joined. That's not startup energy. That's pre-constructed infrastructure, waiting for activation. This is the real timeline. Patent in 1988, deploy in 2011. Then survive lawsuits, market crashes, and non-stop centralization debates. This wasn't a lucky breakout. It was built to last. And it wasn't built in isolation. Schwartz's architecture shared design DNA with NSA-level security protocols and early 2000s central bank tech. It matched enterprise patterns. He wasn't coding for fun, he was engineering systems. And unlike most coins, XRP launched without mining, without a white paper, without an ICO. Just a full supply. And a working ledger. Like it was... waiting. Oracle-like. And here's the twist few ever mention. Archived metadata shows early Bitcoin and XRP activity traced back to the same IP block. That doesn't prove a secret connection, but it does raise questions, big ones. Because maybe XRP wasn't built to follow. Maybe it was always meant to lead. Want more crypto videos? Check out my playlist. Remember this post is brought to you by the Crypto Chrome. Like, follow, share, and repost this video if you believe that crypto is the future, and the future is now.